obviously I did pretty well last year. I think I made semis, um, which was a really big you know, result for me, great tournament for me. I think this year I obviously want to go even further. I want to win the tournament as always when I feel like every tournament I'm in, I want to win. But um, you know, like every week it starts back over. We're first, second round, get the first match win, then you move on to the next day, the next match, and try to just build up from there. So um, I thought I played well in Indian Wells, and I just want to keep kind of you know the similar momentum going into the next few weeks. How's it different playing a home tournament? I mean, you know, some people might think it might be there are more distractions, or you may be too relaxed because you're just home and you're sitting in your own kitchen yeah. in your own living room or whatever. How do you how do you stay in the zone when you're in your home? Yeah, it definitely is weird. It's, it's a nice bonus, but at the same time, like you said, maybe it doesn't feel as professional or a similar structure of what mm -hmm. we're used to. You know, 99% of the year. I think I like to still stick to my routines. Um, whether that's how I drive here in the morning when I'm doing when I wake up in the morning. I think as long as I can get into a good routine, then that keeps me kind of on track with everything in balance. And um, that you know at least relieve stress for me, helps me still feel like I'm being professional and et cetera, et cetera. But it is, it's kind of a weird feeling, you know, going home. But um, I enjoy it because, you know, we travel so much. So I appreciate yeah, the fact that I get the chance to be home where other players you know, aren't so lucky. Do you eat at home? Do you like eat in your <laughs> kitchen when you're during a tournament? Uh, like maybe breakfast, dinner, but I'm here, <laughs> like today I'm here, I've been here since 8.30, right. and I'm here probably till 6, so I'll be eating here. I guess it just depends on my schedule and when mm -hmm. I play and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. How long does it usually take you to get over a match like the one with Petra and yeah. anywhere else? It's yeah, it's tough. I definitely, that one was really obviously very tough. Um, I mean, I feel like I'm over it now, always, you know, I, I think you have to have a short memory when it comes to that stuff, but also appreciate that it was an amazing match and everyone really enjoyed watching it and I think it was just a very special match where I don't get to play matches like that very often and even though I was on the losing end, I think you still have to appreciate the level, the entertainment, et cetera, et cetera, and the, and the fact that I still had match points to be in another quarter final, which I think is also important. And um, yeah, you just kind of move on. You Start practicing, trying to think of what you could do better and, and what you are still working on, and uh, yeah, you don't really have much of a choice but to reset. So hopefully, I, I feel like I have, but I guess we'll see come next match. I know that there are some players that even when they play at home, they decide to stay in a hotel mm -hmm. just to keep the same routine. Yeah. Was it ever a question for you? Or did you just uh, decide I'm going to stay home? That's yeah, I mean, a couple years ago, I think I stayed in a hotel, but that was more for COVID purposes, but. Last year I tried it, I was like, okay, I was driving here during the week, I kept my hotel room just to see how I would feel, and I ended up enjoying it and liking it, and I felt like maybe mentally it was more beneficial than me staying in a hotel. Um, so this year I was like, no, I'm just going to do the same thing. But I, I can see why some players you know, might not want to. Um, but for me, yeah, I think the, the pros kind of outweigh the cons. With your family's football connection, um, is it joyful and fun for you to play in like football save? Does it make a difference to you? Do you find this cool and exciting? Yeah, I definitely do. I think it's just I think it's just such a unique situation. I, I just think it's a really cool story and it's fun when I get to come here and watch the team play a football game and then I get to come back and play a tennis match. Like that's something that never really happens, right? So to me I think I get to embrace such a fun, cool kind of storyline and um, obviously too like throughout the owners. Dolphins and stuff like that, even though they're also competing against each other, they also think it's really cool that like I get to come back here and like play a tennis event, and um, everyone's pretty friendly with each other as well in the NFL size of, of ownership. So I think even that it's cool. Like I know some of the people we knew through football like helped get my dad a ticket this year. So it's just like a cool like connection through sports, which is really special that uh, that I yeah like to embrace, and it's fun to be back in a different atmosphere. And you, you I mean, you must feel at home at this stadium. I mean, you've come to watch games here, yeah. football games, so are you like familiar with, you know, walking around in the football scene? And I was you know. trying to think today, like where the suite is that we usually are, because usually there's a standard suite for away visiting teams. Mm -hmm. I don't know where that is, but like, I would love to know because they, <laughs> they gave us suites for the seeds, I think, and I was wondering where exactly we were. But yeah, there's definitely some familiar spaces, like usually if we come in, we get to park you know, closer down here, and we get to walk through the halls, and you walk out onto the field like the same way, obviously a different setting, but um, in that way it does feel like home. I mean, I've 
come to more football games here than any, besides the Bills Stadium, than any other stadium.